Morning guys! Good morning! So today, finally, the sun is shining <laughs> after two weeks of bad weather. Really, I'm super happy for the sun and for the warm weather. Yes, I love it. So, uh, today is the first day of spring and yeah, so I thought why not filming a weekly vlog where I mm, accomplish my, my goals for this month. So yeah, this is a weekly vlog of me studying languages. Now it's 11 a.m. and I think I'm gonna finish a book. I'm gonna finish this book, finally. <laughs> I have like 40 pages left, so I think I'm gonna finish it now because later I have some lessons, I have to work. And maybe later in the afternoon we were gonna switch to English. We're gonna study some English, maybe, who knows. <laughs> Os gregos, tal como todas as grandes civilizações, a recompensa consistiu numa verdadeira arca de tesouro, cheia de prata, ouro, marfim, pedras preciosas e instrumentos musicais requintadamente forjados. So it's 5.30, I just finished all the lessons for today, so I'm done with the work today and actually I'm quite tired and in one hour and a half I have to go to Capoeira and yeah, so I think I'm just gonna continue reading and actually finishing, I'm gonna finish the book uh, A Grande Historia dos Mitos Gregos uh, because I think I have like 10 pages left I officially finished my second book in Brazilian Portuguese. Yay! <laughs> I'm super happy. My second ever book in Brazilian Portuguese and the first one of for this year. So I'm happy. Yay! <laughs> so yeah, now I'm gonna um, do some flashcards, I think. Yeah. And maybe later before sleeping. Before going to sleep, I'm gonna read some pages of um, the book in English, Homo Deus, by Harari. Here we are. So, for the goal for this month... Oh, my head. Just wait a sec. Okay, better. Hmm? Okay. So... The goal for this month is to finish chapter yes, 7 and 8, so make the flashcard about chapter 7 and 8. So let's go, let's start. So let me show you, for example, I don't know if you can see, but here somewhere I underline a word. Let's see the proper pronunciation. Harbor. Harbor. Uh, ah, okay, so it's... Harbor is a verb? I didn't know that. If you harbor an emotion, thought or secret, you have it in your mind over a long period of time. I only thought that harbor was a noun, not a verb. Nice. <laughs> yeah. So um, let's put it into Anki.
Good afternoon, guys. So it's Tuesday. Uh, I don't know what time is it. Should be around 2 p.m. And now we're gonna study some Portuguese together. The sun is shining. Oh, I'm so happy for the sun. And yeah, I think we're gonna study some Portuguese, maybe on Bubble. Yes, and maybe later I will read some pages in English. Maybe. <laughs> I love reading, so I would read every day for all the day if I could. So yeah. O lixo de casa será separado. O lixo de casa será separado. Ele se sente traído. Ele se sente traído. I just did six reviews and now I'm gonna um, uh, start new lessons. I think I'm gonna start. I'm gonna do two lessons and the review of those two lessons. And yeah, I think. Ah, and then there is another lesson that is accent for the accent. And yes, and then once I finished those three lessons, so two lessons review and accent lesson, I will have finished the pre intermediate course three. So yeah, <laughs> uh, for Bubble, I am almost an intermediate speaker in Brazilian Portuguese. I don't feel as one, but yeah, <laughs> slowly, slowly I'll, I'll achieve uh, B1, B2 in Portuguese too. I can't wait really because I love Brazilian Portuguese, oh my gosh. <laughs> so yeah, we will be there soon. I will get there soon, I hope. O aspirador de pó. O aspirador de pó. You did it! You completed pre-intermediate course 3. So now, intermediate course 1. Yay. Let's go! I took a quick power nap here on my terrace while sunbathing, so... <laughs> it was so nice! I'm so happy for the sun, for the warm weather. Yes, finally! So now let's move, let's go back studying and maybe let's study some English since this evening at 7 p.m. I have an English lesson with my Australian teacher um, for, yeah, for my accent. So maybe uh, now I can do some exercises about my accent and yeah, something like this, something about the speaking, the accent, yeah. So I think I'm gonna read once again, read aloud once again, um, the PDF we used last week for the last lesson. And yeah, and maybe I was thinking about uh, shadowing, oh my gosh, my hair, <laughs> sorry guys. And yeah, I was thinking maybe about shadowing a video on YouTube. Um, yeah, just to train my accent, my muscles of my mouth. <laughs> this is just to say by William Car Carlos Williams. This is just to say, I have eaten the plums that were in the, in the ice box and which you are probably saving for breakfast. Forgive me, they were delicious, so sweet and so cold. Get out or get on. Get out before I call the police. Get out of, leave in a hurry. If I don't get on this bus now, it will leave without me. Get on to enter. Some phrasal verbs cannot be separated. Who looks after the baby when you, when you are at work? Look after to care for. I came across your email when I was clearing my inbox come across to find something by chance. Good afternoon guys, so today is Wednesday the 20, 23 of March and it's like 20 minutes to 6 p.m. 
Today I don't have so much time for languages and actually I'm not in the mood. I don't have, I'm not so much focused and actually I don't have so much, yeah. I don't feel like studying today. So I think I'm just gonna do something super light and quick and I'm gonna start revising all the grammar because this year I wanna revise everything from scratch, from zero. So I, a friend of mine <laughs> gave me her book, this one, Essential Grammar News, that is basically grammar for beginners. So I think I'm just gonna start this book and once I finish this one, I'm gonna move to the advanced one. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna do this now. These are, my name is Lisa, I'm 22, I'm American, from Chicago, I'm a student, my father is a doctor, my father is a doctor and my mother is a journalist. She's eating, she isn't reading, it's raining, the sun isn't shining, they are running, they aren't walking. Hey guys, today is Thursday and it's I think almost midday. Yeah, it's uh, 12 p.m. I completely forgot to <laughs> vlog today. Um, I was studying English grammar and then I suddenly recognized, noticed that I wasn't vlogging so I was like, oh gosh, I forgot it. But yeah, I still have more or less 20 minutes to study so yeah. Let me show you what I'm doing. I'm on my terrace because there is a beautiful sun today. It's super warm. And yeah, I'm studying grammar from the book uh, of yesterday. So essential grammar news. And now I'm doing the passive. I've just revised uh, the present tense, the past tense, and now I'm doing the passive tense. Is being done, has been done. Is are being, present continuous passive. Somebody is painting the door. The door is being painted. It's me again. <laughs> It's uh, still Thursday, it's five and a half, more or less p.m. and it's almost sunset, sunset time. It's so nice because from my terrace I can see the sunset. It's super awesome, so handsome. And yeah, so this morning I studied some grammar, some basic grammar. Mm. And now I think I'm gonna do some flashcards. And yeah, that's it, <laughs> basically. I'm just studying a lot of English because, yeah, I want to improve my English this year. This year will be the year uh, that... Hmm, how can I say this? This year I'm gonna move from C1 to C2. I can do this. <laughs> I will do this. So, yeah, I'm gonna study lots of English. And uh, even though I finished a book in Portuguese, I still haven't started a new one. But I think I'm gonna do it like next week or the or the week after. And yay! So let's do some flashcards. <laughs> let's do some flashcards in English. Some English flashcards. Yay! My desk is a mess. My desk is super teeny tiny. <laughs> I need a bigger one. But yeah, let's do some flashcards. I'm still doing flashcards about this book, 21 Lessons for 21st Century. I'm. <sighs> I'm like, I did one third of the book, gosh, I still have so many new words to study, and yay! So, tipping points. Win. To 
wind to cause a very young animal to stop feeding on its mother's milk and to start eating other food, especially solid food instead. Wean. Happy Friday! <laughs> so it's uh, 4.30 p.m. And today I really feel like studying some um, Brazilian Portuguese. So let's pick up the book here. Here are all the language books, and here there are normal books, like kind of normal, and here, yeah, specific language books. So let's pick up this one. Whoa. Okay, yes, here we are. And let's study some grammar. Let's actually revise, not study. Let's, re let's revise some grammar, and yeah, let's dive into Brazilian Portuguese. I just want to share with you the struggle here. The struggle is real, guys. This is my desk, it's super small. I have so many books here. <laughs> pens, pencils, extra pens, markers, extra pencils here. <laughs> oh my gosh. So yeah, before starting Brazilian Portuguese, it's better if I just clean up a little bit everything. <laughs> Oh gosh, and yeah, of course, a huge cup of tea, yay! So yeah, let's start. Cinco, una banca. O senhor tem ingressos para o show da Maria Rita no domingo que vem? Não tenho mais. A organização do show mandou só 40 e já acabaram ontem mesmo. Quase sempre omitem os pronomes. That's true. Oh. Okay. So it says that um, Brazilian people almost always uh, they just don't use pronouns, and that's super true. That's a big and a huge difference actually between Italian and Portuguese. Yeah, for example, você comprou o livro, comprei. Não, ou comprei, mas comprei. Somente comprei. Os brasileiros quase sempre omitem os pronomes. Você comprou o livro, comprei. <risos> comprei e não, ou comprei, mas comprei. I just finished to revise and now I have to start chapter number 10. So I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna do this now because I'm quite tired and I have a lesson in 20 minutes and after the lesson I have to go to Capoeira. So yeah, I think I'm gonna study during the weekend as well but I don't know if I will manage to vlog because I have so many things to do during this weekend. So yeah, maybe I will finish the vlog here. That's it for this weekly vlog. <laughs> and yay. Mm. See you guys in the next video, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what else to add to this vlog. I think it will be quite long. So yeah, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And yes, see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye, guys.